Hello again, Pepperheads. We are ready for our main event here at the Bristol Pepper Fest. How about giving it up for our contestants here for the Extreme Pepper Eating Contest? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have created a flight of extreme peppers for these folks to eat. There's going to be 11 extremely hot peppers in this contest, ranging from stuff you all would probably eat on a salad to something that you should probably never ever try to eat in your life. Uh, getting up to the Carolina Reaper. Here's the rules for the contest today. The contestants have already been briefed on this. Uh, each contestant will have a pepper placed in front of them in one of these uh, baskets. When we get the signal to start, they will pick the pepper up. They have 30 seconds to chew it up and swallow it. At the end of the 30 seconds, we're going to have a one minute wait period so they can just enjoy the flavor of the pepper and just kind of take it in. And uh, at that point, we get a thumbs up from them. And if they want to continue on, we continue on to the next round. At any time, if, some, if they do not want to continue to the next round, they simply push your chair away from the table, stand up, wave to the crowd. Please give them a great a round of applause for trying this. And they will exit the stage. All pepper... All peppers must be consumed. If any pepper becomes unconsumed, they are out of the competition. So they have to keep it down. They will be directed to unconsume it in one of our Halloween buckets. At the end of, uh, at the, end of the rounds, uh, we're just going to increase the, uh, the heat of each pepper going forward. Whenever a contestant decides they want to they tap out, we have our firefighter here behind us who is going to uh, make sure that we get things to extinguish their mouth is going to be on fire with ice cream and such. But please, these folks are doing some really, really extreme stuff, so please give them a lot of encouragement as we move through this. At this point, I'd like to introduce our contestants on the stage. Starting at the far your left, our reigning Bristol Pepper Fest wing eating champion, Mr. Matthew Schumann. Sitting next to him, who uh, he was doing really, really well in the pepper eating, I mean the wing eating contest, but I think he inhaled accidentally a bunch of sauce and started to choke and kind of put him behind the wall. Uh, Mr. John, more, 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 give me more, more. Yeah. Dead center stage, placed third in the wing eating contest. From Norway, Mr. Eric the Viking Mahalad. <laughs> Sitting in the number four seat. Also from our wing eating contest, I have no idea how these people are gonna deal with that later in this too. We have, don't mess around with, Jim Altman. And for those who didn't catch that Jim Croce reference, there's another one here in the number five slot, Chad, bad, bad, Chad Thomas. So now let's get this show on the roads. Ladies and gentlemen, the first pepper we're going to be presenting to these gentlemen is called a peach bequino. They've never seen one of these. Good thing. This is just a small little pepper. I mean, what, what can it do, you know? And it's got a little fruity floral flavor. Low, low, low heat, but quick heat when it does have heat. So this is going to be kind of a kind of a warm up for you. Pun intended. <laughs> Y'all ready? Everybody got the thumbs up, ladies and gentlemen. Pick your favorite extreme pepper eater root for them, please. Cheer them on. We're going to go three, two, one. Light the fires. introduce the next pepper. The next pepper on stage is going to be 
the ahi lemon, another citrus and floral type pepper, coming in at 15,000 to 30,000 Scoville units. If you folks don't understand Scoville units, a jalapeno pepper is somewhere around 5,000. So this is going to be somewhere three to five times hotter than a jalapeno pepper. A very nice, beautiful yellow pepper. All of our peppers, by the way, are grown and come from our extreme pepper eating contest sponsor, Only Burns Twice. Please give him a round of applause. He has been with us from day one and he has continued to, to break out some really, really crazy peppers. Mm, one. All right, let's get ready, folks. If you're ready for round two, three, two, one, light the fire. Your hands to your it's good. Oh, it's good. Oh, okay. We're going to work the bike and get it back. It's a good thing. It's good. good. All right. Everybody get down there. John, you good? John, you good? We got a one minute left on here. While we're doing that, we'll let you do this thing next to Folks, this is going to be a beauty right here. This little red number is a Tasmanian. It's a pretty good sized pepper. Uh, Damon has told me this thing is a bit pungent. In fact, you folks in the front row here might actually smell these people's breath whenever they're chewing on this thing. They're stepping up the heat a little bit. This range is in between 100,000 and 300,000 Scoville units. So this one's got a little bit, a little bit more heat on this one. This guy a lot of lot of props. He also ate a bunch of wings that were covered in, in demon sauce. I know that deep down inside of my purse is the exact change I need to buy a bag of Lay's salt and vinegar flavored potato chips on the way home. I know. All right, while we're doing the one minute one minute burn time, I don't know if any of y'all have seen the uh, the local TV show Inside Bristol. Damon here was on there talking to the the host. Got the host to eat one of these bad boys. This is called a Bahamian Beast. It's citrus and floral. It's got a delicate start. You would love it. But it then runs up to 300 to 600,000 Scoville units. He's out. All right, we have another one. John. All right, here we go. We're going up for round four. In three, two, one. Light the fires. There's the Viking. One big bite. That's his strategy. Matthew is just going to 
Feels like somebody shot you in your gums with a bullet. A little citrus and lemon flavor. This one comes in at 600 to 800,000 Schofield units. Just dampen it up a little bit. You gentlemen are ready. Here we go. Three, two, one. Light the fires. There's some chewing there. Woo! Yes, sir. Down the hat. Down the hat. Right up, boy. Now we're talking. Yes, indeed. How you doing, gentlemen? We good? Is it getting a little hot out here for you? Feels like too hot. All right, you fellas ready to go and go into round number six? No? You need a few minutes to taste it? You got it. You are doing, it's just a vegetable. You got this. You got this. You got it. All right, here we go, the next round, round number six. This one is a very, very seasonal pepper. It's called Hollow's Eve. It's a beautiful, beautiful orange and maroon pepper. It comes in at about 800 to point, no, I'm sorry, 800 to 1 million Scoville units. I don't know what the flavor is other than hot. 800 to a million. It's just a little increase.
We're into round number seven. This little beauty here has a shape of a Carolina Reaper, but it's not a Carolina Reaper. It is a white Reaper. No, nowhere close to being the heat, but it is still plenty, plenty hot. This one has kind of a habanero flavor for those who have actually uh, tasted a habanero. And this comes in at right around 1 million Schofield units. Gentlemen, round seven, three, two, one, light the fires. Matthew's chewing it. Eric has got the whole thing in his mouth and shoot it down. He's still got time. Matthew's halfway through this. Matthew's got it all in his mouth and shoot it down. Oh, this is a big time hot. Matthew has consumed his wild on the too. We've got through seven rounds. All right. This comes from the labs of Only Burns Twice. This is a Fatali pepper crossed with a yellow maruga, crossed with a pimento puma. It just tastes like everything, but it is lot of heat for sure. This comes in about 1.2 million Scoville units. Gentlemen, ready? Eric's gonna make it. All right, maybe one. Here we go. <laughs> Round number eight. Three, two, one. Light the fires. Woo! Come on, folks. This, this, this is eating. This is eating hot molten lava. Matthew's working his way through it. Matthew is better than his mouth. Matthew's got it, all right. Matthew has it down. Eric. Big hand for Eric. Went into the main range, ladies and gentlemen. Matthew Shumay. Our 2021 Bristol Extreme Pepper Eating Champion and 2021 Bristol Extreme Pepper Stick and Lube Hot Pepper Eating Champion. Hot Wing Eating Champion. Another round of applause, please. Those prizes, y'all. 